here at Newmarket for the final race of day two and this week one of the starters orders flat league it's the Foley Steels Maiden at Newmarket it's a one mile three furlong race for three year old horses and up and number one bring the money for D Hooley number two Dilshan Doubt Pontypool Racing number three Gemstone for Obi Wan number four Jet Setter Alex Cherry number five is Tides Out for Ryan Tamasevi six Travis Derg T Rogers seven Alfonso the Great for Paul Rhodes eight is Barkston Daly for Davy Lad nine is Fight Without Fear Leon Van Rensburg ten Run out of name C. Beckwith. Then it's speedy fix regarded for Hems. The best of us, Joshua Sutherland. 3 2 1 Ryan Costello. Dolores Abernathy, Dan Hughes. Miss Tippins for Mike Westwood. And last but not least is Peggy's play for Stephen Ran. And they're off and running here. One mile, three furlongs. We have some horses here, particularly Tides Out, ran so well behind Queen of Night at Brooklyn on the final trials day. It'd be interesting to see how that gets on over a furlong shorter. Um, but the early pace is being set by two of the top trainers. The best of us for Joshua Sutherland kicking on there from Alfonso the Great. Looking to continue what has been an extremely good run of form for Paul Rhodes. Starting off this season with a bang. And the best of us has gone out into an early lead of around four or five lengths from Tides out in second place. We've got Jet Setter just on the inside of that one. Speedy fix regarded in the green and gold hoops for Craig Allen. Races nearer the, near to the rail alongside Alfonso the Great. Towards the rear of the field at the moment and a touch out pace there was Travis Durgan. Miss Tippins is last of all and just being nudged along there remains to be seen whether that one's handling the ground uh, or whether it's just a back marker that likes to make its running late on in the day but the jockey's just getting to work on it a little bit seems to be not traveling as well as some of the other horses at the moment and the best of us is setting a really good gallop up at front up front and run out of names is towards the middle of the track there with the white sleeves and the white hat and just behind that one we've got bring me the money that's trying to move forward through the middle of the track towards the rail alfonso the great and speedy fix regarded have really moved forward quite quickly over that last half of furlong to get much nearer to the leader and that pace that leader is still being set by the best of us for joshua sutherland alfonso the great still there in second place speedy fix regarded one that's moved forward really smoothly as dolores abernathy and barkston daly's trying to move forward on the rail there as well tides out a little bit outpaced towards the middle of the race there is dropped back but is trying to make a move again as we go towards the final two and a half furlongs the best of us kicking on there its closest challenger now is Barkston Daly, Speedy Fix Regarding, and Alfonso the Great that has moved forward and back is now moving forward again to really challenge and looks like a big danger as the best of us looks as though his race has been ran quite quickly fading out as Alfonso the Great picks up, tides out and fight without fear for Leon Van Rensberger moving forward through the centre of the track and suddenly Alfonso the Great has been picked off by Tides Out who is now treading water up front and needs the line, Alfonso the Great battling back, fight without fear in the middle of the track, it's close. They've passed the line together. I've got no idea who's picked that up. This one is going to the judge, folks. Here we go. As they come towards the line. Tides out. Maybe hit the front a bit too soon. And Alfonso the Great on the knees. Oh, Leon Van Rensburg might have pinched that with Fight Without Fear. Oh, I think this could be a dead heat. I'm not sure Fight Without Fear finished third there. I thought he had it. Tides out's being called the winner for my stable. Let's see as we go there. It is a dead heat. It's a dead heat between Tides out... And Alfonso the Great for Paul Rhodes. So myself and Paul Rhodes sharing the spoils there. In third place is Fight Without Fear for Leon Van Rensburg. And I can imagine he's going to want to see a still shot of that, that photo finish. Because it looked like if there was a dead heat, that horse should have been involved. But anyway, the older horse tides out. Dead heats with Alfonso the Great, a three-year-old. I'm sure we're going to see that horse and Fight Without Fear contesting some of the big three-year-old races. In fourth, Barkston Daly for Davy Ladd. And Gemstone completes the top five for Obi-Wan. Great race. Great way to finish the day. And I hope you've enjoyed this day of racing and completed here at Newmarket.